Ohio State Highway Patrol is awarding several people for their quick thinking that saved a jogger who was suffering from a heart attack. These, hero, these are the heroes you're about to meet. They sprung into action before the ambulance arrived, doing what they could to keep that man's heart beating. The now's Jennifer Awe was there as the man and his saviors were reunited. Jerry Fell is an avid jogger in Grafton Township. His normal July day turned out not to be so normal. Moving along and about three miles an hour, I felt like I was going to pass out. Michelle Dostel and her fiance saw Jerry lying on the road. I will admit I was very panicked. Michelle, who's a nursing student, says it was her first time administering CPR. Then, five minutes later, Sergeant Timothy Hoffman arrived and used a defibrillator. He remembers thinking, I hope I remember how to hook this thing up. Together, they kept Jerry Fowles' heart beating until paramedics arrived. Jerry didn't have his ID and was taken to the hospital as John Doe. His wife didn't hear from him for hours. Called friends, have you heard from him? I went on Facebook, he hadn't done any postings. Jerry Fell spent weeks in intensive care, but thanks to the staff at the University Hospital in Illyria, he made a full recovery. You really don't ever get to hear much more about the afterwards. So to see Jerry standing there today, wherever he went off to just now, to see Jerry walking around and to hear that he's off jogging again, that feels great. I, you mm -hmm. got to call five days afterwards, that mine was months. Yeah. And finally, yeah, the phone call and he said, hi, do you know who I am? And Jerry's wife, Beverly, telling me she's so thankful to everyone. Stepping back, taking a breath, and being thankful for what you have. I've got a couple puppies since then, and they're keeping me busy. And I like walking and things like that, so just enjoying life. In Elyria, I'm Jennifer Ah, News 5. That is something.